in today's max video class we are going to learn about properties of addition and properties of subtraction properties of addition children there are three properties of addition let us start with the first property order property of addition or you can call it as a commutative property example 182 as the first addend plus 210 is the second addend when you put together we get this sum 392 now let us change the order children the second addend becomes a first addend first addend becomes a second addend and then add children 210 plus 182 we get this sum 392 when you change the order the sum does not change it remains the same we conclude the sum of two addends remains the same even if their order is changed let us see the second property grouping property of addition or you can call it as a associative property let us take a number 40 50 20 we have here three addend first we will add the first two addend 40 plus 50 we get this sum 90 now add 90 plus 20 we get the final answer 110 let us see here in this we are adding the last two add and 50 plus 20 gives 70 70 is added with 40 and we get the final answer 110 both the answer are same in this case we added the first two add and in this case we added the last two add and children from this we can understand when adding three or more addends we can add any two number first first two addend or the last two addend the sum never change it remains the same hence we conclude when adding three or more addends the sum always remains the same even if the grouping of the addends is changed let us see the third property zero property of addition or you can call it as a identity property let us see the example 346 plus 0 we get this sum 346 when zero is added with the 346 we get this sum 346 this tells us when zero is one of the add and the answer will be the number itself hence we conclude the sum of any number and zero is the number itself now we are going to learn properties of subtraction properties of subtraction there are three properties of subtraction let us start with the first property zero property of subtraction in this property zero is always taken as a subtra end let us take a number 95 minus 0 we get the difference 95 this tells us when we subtract 0 from a number the difference will be the number itself let us see the second property subtract a number from itself let us take a number 54 minus 54 we get the difference 0 when we subtract any number from itself we get the difference zero this tells us when a number is subtracted from itself the difference is zero let us see the third property order property of subtraction let us take a number 9 and 3 when we subtract 9 minus 3 or 3 minus 9 we will not get the same difference because 9 minus 3 is not equal to 3 minus 9 thus it tells us the order in which the number are subtracted is important children i hope you all understand the concept thank you children have a blessed day